the astronaut who went to the heights of outer space and to the depths of the ocean floor. Meet Catherine Sullivan. Born in Patterson, New Jersey in 1951, her father, an aerospace engineer, ignited her interest in science. In second grade, when we had a chance to take any book we wanted from the school library, I took one about rocket propulsion. After earning her doctorate in geology, she and five other women were selected by NASA to become the first American female astronauts. We also wanted to be sure we did a good job so that the question was firmly settled and the runway was well paved for other women to follow us. In 1984, she made history as the first woman ever to complete a spacewalk. As soon as I lowered my gaze below my hands, I saw my boots foot below me and then the Earth 200 miles below that. Six years later, she went into space again to help deploy the Hubble Space Telescope. Hubble to me matters on a number of planes. The scientific, the astronomical and cosmological advances it's delivered are, you know, they're legendary. After three shuttle missions and 532 hours in space, she left NASA to become the chief scientist at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration and became deeply involved in ocean conservation. It's not a postcard and it's not just a pretty place to get your feet wet. Uh, the ocean is your life support system. She took those words to heart. She became the first woman to explore the Challenger Deep, the deepest known part of the ocean floor. Kathy Sullivan is making history. She is now the first person to visit both space and the deepest place in the ocean. Katherine Sullivan, an explorer always headed in a new direction.